are going to see what Subic has to offer today. I can't believe how different Subic Bay is. It does not remind me so much of the Philippines. Even I, coming from Austria, I'm so, so careful with everything that I do here. I was not even able to go out of our Airbnb. I can't really go inside here, so you need special authorization. from a windy and rainy Subic Bay. We have been here for quite a few days for Mike's pilot's license. Um, as you know, he is doing his private pilot's license here in the Philippines. I have some stuff to do here as well. And um, yeah, we are going to see what Subic has to offer today. We're just going to take a quick lunch break here at Gome Kona. I'm going to take you along and then let's see. I need to do some groceries. Maybe I'll do a whole grocery vlog because there are so many malls here that it's kind of a little bit overwhelming but we'll figure it out later on but for now welcome to the vlog well hello hello, hello. <laughs> it's mike's lunch break from his flight school yes um, he is pretty much brain dead <laughs> i'm so tired <laughs> tired exhausted um so I'm just going to give you a quick tour of this place. It's very cute. Okay, our food is already here. So I'm just going to grab a bite because we haven't eaten anything. Um, Mike just said it's lekker, <laughs> which means it's delicious. So let's give it a try. And how's your food? It's good. Yeah? I just can't figure out what this is. Oh, it's a it's a grilled onion. <laughs> yeah, the chicken is very juicy. The rice is very flavorful. The ambience is very nice, and the sauces are very flavorful, tasty. <laughs> okay, we just finished our lunch, which was somewhat healthy-ish, um, really delicious. And now I think we are just going to get some groceries for at home because um, it's our first second day. It's our second day here and we have not um, stocked up on food at all. So we just want to have a few snacks for at home when we feel hungry. And we also don't want to eat out all the time because we're going to stay here for a few days. So um, let's see what they have. Ooh, this is an American staple. What did you find? I used to eat those as a kid in South Africa. Really? How did that get here? I don't know. How did that get here? Like they have a lot of stuff here, hamon and cheese and salami, cheese and salami. <laughs> and thus, <laughs> and they have an open kitchen here, so you can see into the kitchen what's going on, how they're preparing all the food. Um, Taste-wise, it was really good. Um, I think we're going to come here later on. Mike needs his coffee before he heads back to flight school. I don't have any time to waste. Time. Let's go. Okay, we are just quickly dropping by at Visionary Cafe, the best coffee shop in town here. It's in Olongapo. Um, I'm just going to pick up some coffee and then I'm dropping off Mike at the pilot Cheers! Mm. Are you already drinking? Sorry. <laughs> All right, we're here. We're here. Right by the airport, so I can't really go inside here, so you need special authorization. But yeah, there are some planes over there. I've just dropped off Mike and I can't believe how different Subic Bay is. It's still so unreal to drive here. I feel like I'm a different, in a different country because it does not remind me so much of the Philippines. So especially when it comes to driving, there is a stop sign 
every few meters on the main road so that's kind of a thing here and they're very very strict even i coming from austria i'm so so careful with everything that i do here because i don't want to get a fine um, and then also you have the ocean right here so we have the bay area there's a lot of industry here a lot of huge ships with um goods and stuff <laughs> um and then of course you have the mountainous areas it's so lush and green here and since we've been here it has been raining non-stop i was not even able to go out of our airbnb to take a walk because it just rains so much but yeah i'm just trying to adjust and um we'll try to do some food videos here in the area um, if we can find something that is worth vlogging and now i actually have to head to an appointment here um, so I'll just leave the camera down here. See you guys later. One eternity later. Yeah. There we go. Traffic discipline zone. <laughs> I've just finished my appointment and now I'm exploring the area a little bit. I spotted there is a coffee shop right here um, on the main street. And there is, I think this is a mall, not 100% sure. But what I wanted to show you guys is they have this huge tree and I love how they didn't cut the tree but left it there so this is basically the mall or the whatever it is and then we have this huge tree and then you can see there are some stairs just around the tree so people can go up oh, and since i'm fairly new to subic bay please leave your recommendations in the comment section down below I'll read it through i'm happy to receive some recommendations from you guys who are probably locals or if you visited subic bay and found a nice spot let me know in the comments the spot that i'm trying Okay, so I just walked across the street and there is another coffee shop here called Eight Corner Bistro, which is in this, I think it's called Bahai Kubo. Is this, is the complex called Bahai Kubo? Yeah. Yeah? Bahai Yeah, so um, they just opened. I'll just quickly show you how it looks here. So this is the second coffee shop. They have an upstairs area up here. Mike is going to be very happy to see that they have a really nice coffee machine so we'll come back to try their coffee. Just had a really nice talk uh, at the cafe and she said there's actually a bar upstairs. So the tree that I talked about just earlier on, I'm just walking upstairs, it looks so beautiful. So this is it, the tree, massive. And apparently on top of this there is a bar as well so we'll definitely check that out. And this is the tree from above, it looks so beautiful. Okay, don't have time to check out the bar. Mike just messaged me so I have to pick him up. But yeah, that was basically it. A little tour with me exploring Subic Bay. Um, I've only been here twice and today I already discovered a few places which is uh, good because we need a few options. Um, definitely give this video a, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll link all the locations that I discovered today in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. Remember to stay awesome, be positive and make it happen. Bye-bye.